Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute gift card holder using the card base pop and cuts die. This gift card holder has little slits right here at the corner so the top can tuck in. So when you open it, you have your greeting at the top. There's a center section that will hold your gift card and you have room at the bottom to write a personal message. To get started, you're going to use Cherry Cobbler cardstock. This is die cut with the card base pop and cuts die. It's on page 188 in the catalog. And normally this base is also used with the dress form pop and cuts or the label pop and cuts to give you a card with a pop out feature when you open it. But we're only using the base today. I'll usually order the 12 by 12 cardstock so I can get two gift card holders from each sheet. I'll cut the cardstock 5 inches by 12 to give me a little bit of wiggle room with the die. When it's die cut, you end up with 4 and a quarter on one end and it's 11 inches long. You're going to score down the middle at 5 and a half and you're going to score on each side of that middle score line 2 inches. You're going to fold the middle score line and then you're going to fold the outside score lines in the opposite direction. So you'll end up with this uh, mountain or valley type fold. We're going to add sticky strip on the side right here and also along this two inch score line. So I think you can kind of see there where we've added the sticky strip. You don't want to add adhesive in this area because you want that to stay open to form a pocket. So now that we have our adhesive on, we can simply close this up and press that down. So you have the base of the gift card holder here. We need to cut this middle part to form the pocket. And I like to use this framelit from Apothecary Accents. And what I'm going to do is lay this on my cutting pad. And I'm going to put my framelit just about here. So you can see we have about a quarter inch on each end from the die. So that's going to leave us a nice curly shape to die cut for the gift card holder. So I ran it through the Big Shot with a normal sandwich. You have your multi-purpose platform on the bottom. You have a cutting pad, then your cardstock and your die, and another cutting pad on top. So you can see that this has die cut just the top part and so now we have a little pocket that's perfect for your gift card. So we're going to decorate the front. I've already cut the Season of Style Designer Series paper two inches by four and a quarter. We're just going to layer this right on top. I've cut the Silver Glimmer paper into one eighth inch strips and they both measure four and a quarter. The best way to apply the Silver Glimmer strips is to use your Tombow Multipurpose Adhesive and just kind of squeeze a little line that goes across the bottom. And then when you press your Glimmer paper here, you're going to hold it down for, I don't know, about five seconds. And then that'll stay right there. So we're going to turn it this way and do the same for the top. And a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need a lot. Just squeeze and kind of wiggle and get a skinny little line of adhesive. And you're going to layer this. And I'm pushing it up to the Designer Series paper so it's not overlapping it. And just press that down. And then hold that for just a few seconds and you're good to go. So now we're going to punch out some old olive cardstock using the 2 and 3 8 inch scallop circle punch. We're going to add some paper piercing with the foam mat and the piercing tool. And there's not a template for this, so just go right inside the scallops. Next we're going to stamp a greeting. I'm using a stamp set called Tags For You. We're going to use Cherry Cobbler ink. And my stamp is already on the acrylic block, so you're just going to tap tap on your ink pad and then Press firmly on your Whisper White cardstock. We're going to use the coordinating label bracket punch. And again, turn your punch upside down and center your greeting. And we're simply going to add this to the front of the card with dimensionals. 
I'm going to layer this right on top. And the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of silver at the top with our silver ribbon. We're just going to tie a small bow. And once I tie the bow, I can fuss with it and make it a little bit smaller. When I first tie it, I just want to get it tied. And then I'm going to trim off. Now the glue dot's a little bit larger than the center of the bow. So I'm just going to turn it over and fold it to itself so the glue dot doesn't stick out. Now I noticed something different on this one. I actually cut the DSP to two inches and on the first sample you can see it's slightly smaller so the correct measurement for this one is one and three quarters by four and a quarter and this one is two inches by four and a quarter so there you go a really cute and quick gift card holder to create for the holidays I hope you enjoyed this project for more ideas you can visit me at keenancreations.com thanks and have a great day